Hold on, I'll just set this here. Do you guys record everything we talk about? Not everything. But you've been using the Animus so much, I thought this was a good chance to learn some things about prolonged exposure. So I'm your guinea pig? No, no, my guinea pigs are all dead. The Animus was too much for them to handle. Cute. Can I ask you about the bleeding effect? Any recent flashes? Any memories resurfacing? Yeah, the usual things. Ghost images of Altair and Ezio a few times a day. Nothing intrusive, just brief moments. They pass quickly, almost without me noticing. Like a figure in the corner of my eye. Or remembering a dream from the night before. I did have one extended hallucination a few days ago. It was Ezio. He was older, around the time he left Cappadocia. He was standing on the deck of a ship, alone. And through him, I could feel an intense regret or guilt. And it felt to me like he'd had a, a loss of faith in himself, in the creed, like he couldn't keep it up, couldn't stay true to his ideals. And as I watched him, I thought, is this the moment he decided he was done being an assassin? It felt like it. Anyway, most of my visions have been brief, lasting just a few seconds. They're like complete memories of small moments that appear suddenly out of nowhere, fully formed. It's a strange feeling. Okay, anything else? I'm starting to see Connor now, too. Though I hear his voice more often than I see him, I'm sure that will change. Oh, yeah, and yesterday? Just before bed, I had a memory of being on a beach in the Caribbean with a bunch of sailors. Or maybe they were pirates. I don't know. No idea. Huh. We'll look into that. And how do you feel in general? In general? Well, I feel older, for one. Much older. And it's strangely comforting. I'm collecting the memories and skills and thoughts of so many people. I feel like I've lived a few hundred years or more. Is it possible that if I do this for too long, it'll push my own memories aside? That I'll be everyone but myself after a while? It's possible. That's called identity substitution. It's happened before, but it's rare. And someone with your background shouldn't need to worry. My background? You mean someone with my genes? My abilities? You have ESU DNA. And that lets you see things and do things and withstand traumas that other people can't and i can suffer in ways that others can't that's not something to be proud of you mean the apple yeah it has a pull bex it tugs at my brain it talks to me teases me drives me mad and what i did to lucy god damn it nothing is worth the damage i did the pain i caused i know but you're special that's the point i'm not special bex I'm lucky. That's all. I understand. We're assassins. It's our creed that makes us different, not our genes, not our blood. Anyone can join us. That's true. But let's leave that aside for a second. What I want to know is, have you ever had any Isu memories resurface? Isu memories? I don't... don't think so. I can't even begin to imagine what that would feel like. I think you'd know if you did. Maybe one day, we might be able to induce something. Jesus, let's fix the world first, okay? Before we start digging up my ancient ancestors. Deal. With my luck, I'll be related to some third-rate Isu like... like Sisyphus or something. <laughs> Way to aim high, buddy. <laughs> hey, you gotta.